Hello, and welcome to Paranormal Playtime. Today, I am here in Buffalo, New York, at the Hotel Richardson, also known as the former Buffalo State Hospital. This Kirkbride building is a former asylum-turned-hotel that was once teeming full of mental health patients. Many people lived and unfortunately died here. So tonight, I thought we should check and see if there are any spirits here with us. Now, as you can see, the area we are in has been renovated because we are in the hotel portion. Now, there are still portions of this former asylum that are abandoned or under renovation. And while I was lucky enough to get to see some of those earlier today, um, I am not able to ghost hunt in them as I only had a very limited amount of time in them. However, this still would have been part of the asylum back in the day. From my understanding, this was most likely two patient rooms, um, of course, that were renovated now to be my hotel room. We are in the men's ward of the, ho of the asylum. And from what I've been told, that at least at Buffalo, the way it worked, was that the closer to the administration building you were, the less severe your issues were seen as. And we are actually extremely close to the administration building, which they now call the Towers Building. So uh, anyone who was staying in here most likely had a condition that was considered mild back in the day. So let that. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and see if there's anyone in here with us. So first, I have our EMF detector. Okay, if there is anyone in here with us, please light up that EMF detector. Okay, that's a small one. Can you get it up to orange or preferably red? So my name is Austin. I've actually been here before, back when it was the Hotel Henry. Um, I go to lots of different abandoned places and old asylums, especially Kirkbrides. So if you could just let me know if you were here, that would be great. Can you please try to light that up again? I'm seeing a little bit of activity, but if that's you, I really need you to kick it up more if we can get up to that yellow at least come on if you can get it up to that yellow that would be great I can see you trying you're getting up to that green but we really need solid evidence Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to have a good time with this. Now, I will say there is a lot of ambient noise in this room. You can actually hear the fan running in the background. It's pretty loud. But I am going to try this. So you can go ahead and reply to this. I may not hear it now, but I might hear it later. Okay, so I'll check that back later to see if you try to respond. I'm going to give you one more chance with the EMF detector. If you can go ahead and get that up to yellow or orange, that would be great. Okay, we're not really seeing anything there. So, we're going to turn this off now. And we are going to go to my favorite tool. Hopefully one that might be a little bit easier for you guys. Let me go ahead and grab it. We are going to use the spirit box. Now, if you guys haven't dealt with this before, this is a radio player that's going to scan through the frequencies really fast, and you're supposed to be able to talk with us through it. S-Box. Scanning. FM. Okay, let's go ahead and... Is anyone in here with me? Was that an I am? My name's Austin. What's your name? Happy 
My name's Austin. Can you say Austin? Did you get better? I mean, that could have been random, but this is an old asylum. Were you a patient here? Come on, I need some sort of intelligent response. Turn this up a bit. Can you tell me your name? Come on, just tell me your name. I don't wanna? Why not? Were you a patient here? Did you die here? My name is Austin. Can you say Austin? How many of you are in here? Did you say 14? Can you say Asylum? Why were you here? New place? Do you know what year it is? Come on, you gotta give me an intelligent response or else I'm gonna have to quit. Who is president? Okay, this is your last chance. Can you please tell me your name? Okay, well, it doesn't seem like you're going to respond, so I'm going to shut this off. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so unfortunately, nothing too convincing there. The only thing that I really think could have been a direct response was one of the times I asked, what is your name? It did sound like it said, I don't wanna. But other than that, I didn't hear anything in the moment. Of course, I will be reviewing that later. But so far, I don't think we've really gotten anything. Okay, so we are now down here in the basement. We are actually in the fitness center, which I will admit is kind of a weird place to do a investigation, but this is a former part of the basement. And this is one of the few public areas that I can probably go hunt without bothering anyone this late at night. So without further ado, if anyone's in here with us, can you spike up that EMF detector? All you gotta do to let us know that you're here is touch this little box in my hand. Well, we're getting the light green kind of again, but we really need more than that. And we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. So, if you want to show you're here, you really got to do it now. Okay, I'm giving you about 10 more seconds. Just go ahead and touch the box. Okay, well, nothing there. Not too surprised. Um, but we're going to try the spirit box now. Maybe we'll get something down here in the spirit box. Xbox. Danny. FM. If anyone is in here with us, please let me know. My name is... My name is Austin. Can you say Austin? Can you tell me your name? Were you a patient here? 
did you die here? Transplant. Transplant. Why were you here? Did you say kill yourself? Did you kill yourself here? Why did you kill yourself? Can, can you give me an answer? Why did you kill yourself? Okay, let's maybe change the subject. What's your name? Okay, come on, you're gonna have to give me something. I'm gonna have to move to a different area. Okay, this is your last chance. Can you say my name? My name is Austin. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the spirit box now. Goodbye. Okay, and so for our final location of the night, we are up in the very top of the administration building in the ballroom. Now, this area is used currently for events. Um, you can't really see because it is dark in here. Um, over there is a bar. There's also like an above ground wine cellar. Um, they hold lots of events in here. And this is probably the last location we can actually go to and ghost hunt in for the night. Now I will say it is a bit creepier up here than everywhere else. That is most likely just because it is dark. But let's go ahead and if anyone is in here with me, please make yourself known. Oh, okay. We're getting orange. This is the first time we've gotten orange. Um, it's pretty solid orange too, let me. Oh. Okay, it could be the table. Can you make this light up again if this was you? Oh. Can you make it go all the way to red? Come on. Can you light it up again? Just to prove that you... Oh. Really? Now just to make sure... Okay, so it could be something in this area. Let me go ahead and walk out into the center here. Can you make this light up again if this is you? Come on, just make it light up. Oh, okay. So if there is an energy in this room, it appears to be in that general area. Um. But we have walked away from everything and it's still spiking. Okay. Oh, oh, more spikes. Okay, so if you're in here with us, you really want to show it, don't you? Okay. Well, I have to admit, this is the most convincing activity we've gotten tonight. We're going to go ahead and turn this off. And I'm going to take a seat here. And we're going to pull out the spirit box. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Okay. Hi, my name is Austin. Can you say Austin? Can you tell me your name? Were you a patient here? Were you a staff member here? Okay, so unfortunately, we were interrupted during the spirit box session in the ballroom um, by other people coming to look at the ballroom. No big deal, because I have found another area for us to attempt to communicate with spirits. 
This will actually be the final area for the night, unless something major changes. Now currently, we are actually in a very dark and very small room between the third floor rooms of the former women's ward on the staircase and then the abandoned section. So if we go ahead and take a look out the window there. Literally that is the abandoned section right over there. The light coming off the windows and stuff is actually light reflecting from this section. And that is actually part of where we did the tour earlier. And I do know that the women's section was much larger. There was a fire in, fire in it in the 80s. And of course, as with any section, people did unfortunately pass away there. So let's see if we can get some communication in here. So starting the EMF detector. If there's anyone in here with us, please make this light up. All you have to do is touch this little box and it will light up and let me know that you're here with me. Just out of curiosity. Okay, so it doesn't spike up closer to the abandoned section. If anyone's in here, feel free to let me know. You can also make a noise, make a knock. You can tap on me. I gave you full permission to touch me right now. I just want to prove, I just want to see if you are still here. Okay, if you guys aren't going to use this, then I'm going to switch over to the spirit box. So let's go ahead and get that out real quick. And hopefully the lady side will be more chatter, more chatty than the men's side was. And hopefully make more sense. Okay. Hi, my name is Austin. Can you say Austin? Can you tell me your name? Were you a patient here? My name is Austin. Can you please say Austin? Not yet. Can you tell me your name? Were you a patient here? Why were you here? Come on, I just need something solid and intelligent. Can you say asylum? Can you please tell me your name? Okay, this is your last chance to say something. Okay, that was kind of weird, but I don't know what it said. Okay. One more chance. Okay, goodbye. During the rest of my stay at the hotel, there was nothing that I could completely verify as paranormal activity. However, walking through the hotel corridors late at night, I noticed that sometimes lights would flicker as I walked past them, and the pipes in my room also would do some random banging in the middle of the night. 
I cannot say that any of this is completely paranormal. Now, during our tours of the abandoned section, I did feel more of an energy in there compared to the main hotel. Perhaps this is a place that the spirits are staying in because it is more original to what they experienced during their time. I will also say that again, while I cannot verify that it was something paranormal, I had multiple electronic issues in the abandoned side, including batteries draining extremely quickly, recordings stopping in the middle, and issues with both my phone and my camera. Is the Hotel Richardson slash Old Buffalo State Hospital haunted? I am not completely sure, but it does hold a dark past in history. Thank you so much for watching.